Hey YouTube, it's Carrier Sidekick, and today I have a video comparing controllers for you guys. If you guys are thinking about getting the Xbox One Elite, if you guys are thinking about getting the Scuff controller, I finally have gotten to play on both of them, so now I'm going to compare them for you guys. I'm sure there's plenty of other videos that do deep comparisons of these. I'm going to do a very basic overview on the difference between each controller and which one I like better. So if you're looking for something a little bit more in-depth, this probably isn't going to be the video for it, but I really just want to do like a quick one and tell you what I think is better so you can get another opinion on which one you know would be better for you if you're looking at getting one first off i do want to say scuffs and elite controllers do not make you a better player i've heard this a lot it's kind of annoying when people say that scuffs are cheating that it's going to make you a god it doesn't really the only advantage that the scuff has is it gives you slightly faster reaction time on jumping and meleeing because that's the two buttons that i have for the back and it's just a little bit more comfortable to use I use a scuff, my boyfriend uses a regular controller, and he schools me in a lot of games. It doesn't make you a god player. I can play with a regular controller, he can play with a scuff. It really doesn't matter. It's pretty much even all the way around. So, overall, if you think it's going to make you a better player, it won't. But if you do want to get one, I'm going to talk about the scuff first. This is the one I'm more comfortable with, the one I've had longer. So, I have a very basic scuff. I just went with general black. Really, the you know big difference is that it has paddles on the back. You can tell that I use the A and B the most. I don't really use X and Y. I mean, I can reach for them. It's not super obnoxiously difficult, but I don't think it's, uh, it's just not very comfortable. I generally just use the normal X and Y. Um, I probably could get used to it, but it would be just, I'd have to train myself to use them. That's really why I don't use them, but I do use the A and the B all the time, and so it's jump and melee in most of my games. Uh, I think B is slide and destiny, so it's Either way, it does help me out. I really like them a lot. And then you got trigger stops, which is basically just where your trigger doesn't go down all the way. So you can fire a little bit faster. This is inconvenient for some games because some games you have to have the trigger all the way down to play. Grand Theft Auto, I can't play with this. So if I want to play Grand Theft Auto, I have to pull out a regular controller. If I want to play Battlefield, I can't play. If I want to use a sniper, it'll fire auto rifles. It won't fire the snipers. The trigger just won't. It won't go all the way down and it won't fire the sniper. I still usually do play Battlefield with it because I don't snipe. I don't use a lot of these semi-auto guns that requires the full trigger pull. But uh, other than that, nothing's really adjustable on here. I do have EMR in it, which is like electromagnetic something. I can remap it. I've never done it. I went ahead and got it just in case I wanted to remap it. But honestly, I'm pretty cool with it being ABXY. That's just the general standard setup. If I was to get another scuff, I don't even know that I would get four paddles because, like I said, I hardly ever use the paddles. But overall, I really like the controller. I think the one downfall to it is the fact that you cannot turn the trigger stops off. You can take them out. You can pull the controller panel off and you can take them fully out. But that's kind of annoying. I'm not going to do that. I honestly want to get another scuff that doesn't have it in there or I hope one day they make it to where you can just turn them off like you can on the Elite. So the Elite, it's also, you know, just a, a normal controller. The, the one thing I, I like about both these is they, they are Microsoft controllers. Even the scuff is. Uh, I don't like aftermarket parts personally for controllers especially. So the biggest difference I would say is that the paddles are in a different spot. I can't stand where these paddles are. I mean, if you had just started with this one, this might not be bad, but they, I honestly accidentally hit them a lot and uh, it's annoying when you're trying to play and then, you know, you hit the wrong button. So you can take them off, which is nice. They're pretty much just magnets is what I, I'm assuming they are. They feel like magnets. So you can take them off and just have a normal controller. But I think that the biggest reason people, you know, want this is for the paddles. So I don't like where they put the paddles. I don't know if they didn't put them where Scuff did to be different or if those are patented where they're at. I'm not sure. Overall though, I think that the Scuff has better paddle placement. Uh, I haven't really looked on what other people think, but I mean, even my boyfriend who's never really used a Scuff doesn't really like where they're at. Um, they're easy to hit. And they're also sometimes if you set your controller down and you don't have the paddle on just right, uh, it'll actually rest on the paddle, which is sometimes bad because in destiny apparently he accidentally deleted a gun so that's no good but you can swap them around so you got like longer ones and then shorter ones so if you want to use a shorter one a longer one doesn't matter you can swap them and everything so i mean that's that's pretty cool uh the only other thing that i guess i would say is mainly different is that it does come with removable thumbsticks so they're essentially just magnets so if you want a domed stick comes with a domed stick 
you can put the dome stick on. If you want longer thumbsticks, it did come with a little bit longer of thumbsticks. You know, I don't know. So they're kind of like control freaks. I think these are essentially unnecessary, though, because I do use control freaks. I don't really like the fact that they're removable. Um, and they are magnets, and I guess because they're magnets, they're, they're metal and they're heavier. I don't like the fact that these are actually harder to move than a normal X-Fax controller. It just feels heavier and like it takes more pressure so i'm not a big fan of that overall i, I don't like that this is also removable you can put on a normal d-pad and use this i don't like this but i don't really use a d-pad for anything other than messaging and the only feature that i do like on this is that you can turn the trigger stops on and off but with this button so now you have a trigger stop trigger doesn't go all the way down turn that back up now it goes all the way down so off and on that is the only thing i think scuff needs to put on their controllers if scuff were to put that on there that'd be like 100 percent perfect because i would love to use my scuff for certain games but certain games i can't because like i said the trigger stop just makes it you know completely useless you can put two button mappings on here which is cool so you can have button mapping one and two so like if he wants a certain configuration and I want one, we can, you know, still use the same controller or if you want one for a certain game and a different one for another game, like you want Call of Duty for one, Destiny for another, that's pretty cool, but uh, that's pretty much what they do, essentially. They're both very similar, like I said. Uh, overall, I like the scuff better and I basically like the scuff because I just think the paddles are in a better spot. Uh, as soon as I saw the Elite, I pretty much knew I wasn't going to like it because I was even thinking that seems like a very weird spot to put the paddles. I'm sure I could get used to it, but I think they're just too easy to accidentally hit. And, I mean, like, I kind of grip my controller when I play, so I liked them being here. I don't... I mean, you might be able to mod something on there yourself and move the paddles, but uh, that would be kind of pointless. You might as well just get a scuff at that point. So, overall, I don't think either one's bad. Um... The only difference really is price now. These are 150, and I got we got this at Best Buy, and this one was 200. And I mean, they essentially do the same thing, but this one was slightly more expensive, and you have to buy it online, so you have to wait for it to get shipped and stuff, which is, I guess, kind of annoying. And um, the only other thing I do like a lot about this one is that you can have custom grip. So this has like military grade grip on it, and I do want to get scuff grip eventually for it, so it's a little bit grippier. This is pretty grippy. It's not like uh, it's it's kind of like a rubberized grip so it's not as annoying as like just a normal controller where this is very smooth plastic so when your hands get sweaty it just you want to drop the controller it's, yeah it's annoying so but overall I personally like the scuff better but uh, I don't think that the elites a bad controller I think both could be improved a little bit like I do think that scuff could improve by you know putting in trigger stops that are adjustable where you can turn it off and on and I think that you know, the Elite could be improved by just changing the paddles. But like I said, I don't know if either one of them is patented, so maybe, like, one can't do the other one for that reason. But uh, if they could combine those controllers, it'd be perfect. But overall, I like the scuff better, so that's, you know, my personal opinion. If you guys have one or the other one, or if you have both of them, let me know what you guys think. I want to know if you guys like the scuff or the Elite better. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something, and I will see you guys later.